Hi all, and thanks for taking a look. Uh, this is um, a plugin that I'm making for Unity, just about ready to hit the Asset Store. Uh, it's something that I think is really exciting and incredibly useful, especially if you have any kind of large scene, or even something that's fairly small, as long as you have a, uh, a lot of different objects in there that you want to be able to quickly edit and modify or select, anything like that. Uh, really, really useful. So with this, we can uh, finally move away from the kind of painful and tedious method of I'm um, using this sort of game object parenting method for grouping uh, since that you know causes all sorts of trouble with um, you know, anything from world and local space issues to you can only have certain objects in one single group not in multiple groups um, all sorts of trouble so lots of we don't really need to go over that I guess um, but with this now we have a little panel that you can drop in and open up uh, I've set it up so it works pretty well off on the side like this and keeps out of your way but does everything it should um, with this you can select any objects you want at all Say I really want this and this and this, of course, and definitely that. Uh, all very logical, and maybe this. And I want these all to be in one group, but I don't want to mess with uh, you know any of their transforms uh, or parenting or anything like that. So with them selected, I can simply over here go ahead and type in a nice descriptive name like stuff. Click on new group, and there we have it, a new group created for them. And I can do the same with anything else. So maybe this also, and this, and this and so forth. Create another group. Stuff also. Create that and keep going. You know, however many I'd want. I'll just create a couple here just to create a few. Okay, so now I have a couple groups and with any of these I can right over here in the quick select option just select the group like so. Any of them like that. And again, this is not modifying their, uh, you know, their position or transform or anything like that at all. It doesn't change that, so it's really nice, uh, clean, will save you from a lot of headaches and save you a lot of time for sure. Also, um, so yeah, I can uh, select them quickly and easily there. I can update the group if I want to by selecting more objects uh, and then just click update, and I'll drop them right into that group there, uh, whichever one is selected up there. That is. Uh, then we have some multiple actions that you can do. And with that, uh, deselect everything here. So any um, of these groups that are checked down here, uh, I can hit the select to select them at once, all those objects at once. Uh, if I want to, I can click remove, and it will remove that group. And as it says here, it won't actually delete any of the objects in there. Um, it will unhide them, however. And speaking of, so this is one of the really cool parts of the uh, Pro Groups plugin is that if I can, uh, or if I select a couple of these checkboxes and then hit hide, it will just really quickly and simply hide them. And this is um, useful in all sorts of ways. Um, of course, you can also just you know click show to bring them back. Uh, so that's really useful, uh, especially if, uh, let's say you want to hide all the detail meshes in your level. Uh, it's usually a pretty common thing. Uh, just you want to maybe test frames per second with all the little detail meshes off and see how much you're really you know, uh, chugging that game down. Uh, I could go through, and if you already have this set up, uh, kind of like this, uh, the Unity Basecamp scene here is, where they're already in these, uh, you know, game object groups, so to speak. Um, it's no problem. You can select, uh, let's say, I want barrels and decals and ducks and all these little things real quick, um, something like that. Um, and it doesn't matter if you only select the top level, it will go through and select everything underneath as well. So wherever you select, select in the hierarchy, everything below that will drop in. So if I only wanted some, I could, you know, grab lower down here if I felt like it. Um, so anyway, we have those selected. Create a new group called Detail Meshes. Click New. And now I can very quickly and easily select all those meshes. I can hide them. Bring them back on, of course. Uh, anything I want. And again, still keep adding to them if I want with the uh, update group button. So really, really handy there. And of course, you can create as many groups as you want. Um, you could at any time delete them. So if I really you know, decide, ah, I don't need these two groups, I can just click remove. Hit OK, and they're gone. Uh, once again, if you do that, it's uh, you can't be un it can't be undone, but they will be unhidden when you do that. So don't worry, you're not going to just you know, hide them forever. Uh, that's import important because uh, when you hide things, they are also hidden. Here we're seeing the issues with these uh, game object groups and why this uh, groups tool is so awesome. You won't deal with any of this anymore. Um, anyway, when you uh, when you hide them, they're also hidden in the hierarchy, so they won't be confusing you uh, sitting in there but not in the scene. Uh, okay, so down uh, below here, you also have uh, these invert 
and clear buttons, which do just like they sound. Uh, it either inverts uh, the checkbox selection or clears it out entirely. Uh, the new group option, of course, which creates a new one from the name, and clear all, which will clear out all the groups that you have. Uh, and again, unhide them uh, if they are hidden. So very, very simple, um, really great, uh, very useful. I've already been finding for large scenes. Um, and again, even in smaller ones, if you have, uh, you just want to be able to select things quickly and easily. Uh, one of the really cool parts about this script uh, or plugin is that it can also work, or it will also work, uh, between as many scenes as you have. So anytime when you open a new scene, it will uh, create a new sort of a scene manager inside there and save all your groups for that scene. So you don't have to close and reopen the window or deal with anything fancy, nothing manual. Uh, it just works. Uh, so there you have it, uh, the Pro Groups plugin. Um, just a little preview here. A couple things might change, but it's just about ready to hit the asset store. Uh, it'd be great to hear if you have any thoughts on this, suggestions, etc., before it's uh, finalized. Thanks.